long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Welcome to Tuesday's devotional from the book of Proverbs, the series that we're calling Proverbial Wisdom. So glad that you were joining us for these. Glad for that many of you have said something to me either personally or made comments on the post and appreciate that you are spending the time in God's word as we're looking at these things together. Let's go ahead and turn to Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs chapter 16, and we're going to begin at verse 26. And today the, the Proverbs we're going to be looking at are really just a, a variety of wise sayings. And so there may not be a one theme, but I just want us to read these and maybe reflect on just a couple of them this morning. Proverbs 16, beginning at verse 26. A worker's appetite works for him. His mouth urges him on. A worthless man plots evil, and his speech is like a scorching fire. A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. A man of violence entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. Whoever winks his eyes plans dishonest things. He who purses his lips brings evil to pass. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. Whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but every decision is from the Lord. As I read through this, there are really just two basic things that stand out to me. One, the plans and the actions of those who plot evil and strife. And Solomon is looking at these and saying, here are people, here are the type of people that, that cause harm. Here are the people that you need to be concerned about being an influence on you. Those who plot evil, those whose speech is like a scorching fire, that dishonest man, that whisperer, that man of violence that, that may lead you in the wrong way. Those who, who are winking the eye in, in, in that deceitful way, that, that plotting way. But then he says at the end, whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he who rules his spirit than he who takes the city. You know, we've been talking this year at Central about turning the world upside down. About being revolutionary. And that last thing that I just read is revolutionary. Because, see, the world looks at, at what is good or what they think is good and what they think is right and what they think is strong and, and what they think is powerful and what they think is shows strength and might and, and success and, and glory. And it's all about power. It's all about gaining. It's all about violence. It's all about conquering. It's all about being the, the king of the mountain. But notice again what Solomon says. Whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he who rules his spirit, he who practices self-control, that's better than conquering a city. So it's the person of the heart, it's the person of wisdom, of discernment, that Solomon says is the better, the stronger of the two. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your blessings. While as we look at the world around us, sometimes we get caught up in worldly ideals. We get caught up in worldly actions. We get caught up in worldly thoughts and worldly plans. Father, help us to be men of your wisdom, women of your wisdom, people who are people of self-control as we hold ourselves in check with your word and your will. Father, help us, as James would say, to look into that perfect law of liberty, that, that mirror, and hold our life up to it and make the changes that we need to make so that we can be more like you. Father, thank you for Christ who set the example. And thank you for the sacrifice that he made to forgive us of our sin. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again and again for joining us for these devotional thoughts. I look forward to these. I hope you are as well. And until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts. 
Oh, let the ancient words in.